Hi, I'm Michal. Come on into the studio. This project is a continuation of the work that I've been doing before, which is a focus on white Africana identities within South Africa. Moving to the Netherlands, being Afrikaans, growing up Afrikaans in South Africa, there's this interesting history and this um, geopolitical connection. So I, I'm finding myself constantly in, in between these two spaces. What does it mean for me to be in the Netherlands? What does it mean to, for me to come from South Africa? I like working with materials that are not very precious. I like working with materials that have a, a utility outside of the thing that it's made for art because I, I like this quality of it being crafted or made because in terms of the, the stuff that I'm dealing with, I'm kind of making these objects that are, you know, maybe something that you would buy at the side of the road or that like somebody would have crafted in a way. So there's this connection between looking for materials that have this kind of cheap quality to it, um, also like ready-made things. I keep my eyes open to see like what materials it is that I want to work with. I think I find a lot of inspirations just from these everyday interactions with other people, either Dutch people or South Africans or internationals, and I also write stories about them. And also some Afrikaans phrases and idioms have been inspiring me a lot lately. Slangiki, slangiki, slangiki. What's the finger at your back? I think when it's done, what you will see is hopefully <laughs> some sort of installation that is made up of different works within that that focuses on animalistic and farm like imagery and iconography. And there will be a big focus on the colors, which will all be like a version of orange, white, and blue, Waranya Blanya Blau, which is actually the name of the old South African flag. I want to make like a little environment, you know, where you walk in and you discover little things. <laughs> <laughs>